Hello dear friends and colleagues. Today in this video we are going to discuss about an innovative way for perfect draping for eye surgeries with the help of double speculum. I am Dr. Jagdeep M. Kakadia, an eye surgeon in private practice since 1989 based in Bhavnagar city of Gujarat state of India. He is Dr. Ramesh C. Shah, popularly known as RC. He is a prolific and very innovative eye surgeon in private practice since last 40 years. He is based in Mumbai, India. And he is Dr. Naushad Motiwala, a senior and innovative eye surgeon practicing since last 37 years in Surat city of Gujarat state of India. Draping is a very critical and a very important first step of any eye surgery where complete isolation of lead margins and eyelashes are very very important. This is very dangerous haphazard and half-hearted type of draping with eyelashes projecting and skin open I can catch microorganisms from lead margins and roots of eyelashes and can lead to endophthalmitis. We should not do any intraocular surgery in such type of draping. We should have perfect draping like this in each and every case. But in spastic, uncooperative, small, hyperopic, oriental and mongoloid type of eyes, it is difficult to do perfect draping every time. In situations such as these, eyelashes either get cut and or they project. Long ago, we found a very useful but simple technique to do perfect draping using double speculum. One, an open-ended pediatric wire speculum and second, a Lieberman or adult wire speculum which gives us very good infection control. With this type of draping, there is no need to cut eyelashes which is still a common practice in semi-urban and rural parts of India. First, we cover the patient with a sterile drape having a 4 inch by 4 inch square hole in the center. This drape covers the patient from belly button to knee of surgeon and completely covers the sides of headrest and handrest handles. It can be stuck to forehead with the sterile sticky tape which comes in the package. We can use cloth towel also for this purpose. Now we clean the eyelashes with sterile cotton tipped swabs. The smaller or pediatric wire speculum is held in an artery forceps and is inserted like this. In this way, we can avoid the skin touch completely and then we can stick the sterile double layered offside drape with sticky clear plastic area to isolate eyelashes, lid margins and skin completely. This way now there are total three non-woven layers sterile which are now isolating the surgical field. So even if a pointed instrument accidentally inadvertently or unknowingly pierces one or two layers, there still is a protection from contamination of the tip. This is how it looks at this stage and please notice that white drape is better than blue ones. So in some surgeries where we have to use ten or nylon or vicryl sutures, we can see it much better and hence my personal preference is to use Surgivare's this drape with pre-attached drain pouch. But you can use whatever is your personal preference. But please do use such sterile plastic sticky drapes. We have no financial interest. By the way, for making blue primary drape sheets, we can buy this or this. These non-woven disposable bed sheets are made for massage spa and beauty parlor beds. One bed sheet can be cut into two and we can cut out a central 4 inch by 4 inch square hole. Although hydrophobic and water repellent, 
non-woven fabrics can be washed in machines or by hand without brushing them and can be reused. All non-woven fabrics are made always from polypropylene which is an autoclavable material. So all such fabrics are as autoclavable as cotton by any class of autoclaves for any length of time. Polypropylene melting point is 160 degrees and we never exceed 130 degrees in autoclaves. Please note that hydrophilic IOLs blister packs are also made of polypropylene. Now, after the microscope is put on the surgical field, we incise the drape from the center with a blunt or round pointed scissors. And then we put the second Lieberman speculum so that now eyelashes, lead margins and the tarsal parts of palpebral conjunctiva up to both fornix are fully covered with the sterile plastic. Please do not incise the drape without seeing through the microscope, especially if the surgeon is of presbyopic age. This step should preferably be done by the surgeon and not by scrubbed nurse. And to avoid central corneal linear abrasion, please use blunt tipped straight scissors only. Avoid the curved ones. And while inserting the second speculum, it is more comfortable to insert the blade under the upper eyelid first and then in the lower fornix. However, this is more of a personal preference according to the dexterity of the surgeon. This double speculum strategy gives us excellent draping in 100% of cases and we use this in almost all our cases. The double speculum draping is very useful in intravitreal injections also. This pediatric wire speculum is easily available from your local dealer or we can buy it from Amazon for a price of 450 rupees for a set of 5. As a main speculum, we use Lieberman speculum of this type or this type, but that is the personal preference of every surgeon. We can also use adult wire speculums as second speculum, either Berecker or temporal sided type or Nagahara, the nasal sided type. At the end of surgery, we first remove the Lieberman speculum under microscope vision, then we remove the top drape and then we remove the infantile speculum and as you can notice we don't need to tape or cut the eyelashes with this double speculum technique by the way I use intranasal HEPA filters because my mask on my nose gives me fogging of eyepieces of surgical microscope which are available easily on Amazon and they are not very expensive. Please don't worry, there is no extra weight or extra positive pressure exerted by the inner speculum. We are using this strategy since over two decades and we have done this in over 50,000 surgeries. Just do it and you will so happily realize. By the way, we have also observed that in lot many hospitals, this abdominal area of scrubbed nurses are quite contaminated especially if they are obese or pregnant because in most hospitals autoclave drums are kept on granite or stones kitchen like platforms and when they try to take linen and things out of drums the stomach area of the sterile gown inadvertently touches the non-sterile surface. We must sensitize all our scrubbed OT staff to prevent the contamination of gown front especially at the belly level. Such foot operated drum stand is very useful in gown contamination prevention. Also without such drum stand we need to have one extra unscrubbed person in OT to keep the leads open as and when needed or we tend to keep the drums leads open all through the long OT list which again can increase the chances of linen contamination. If you can't find such drum stand from your local dealer, Mr. Saurabh Patel of Bhavnagar can help you. He can ship it to you. The cost is around 12,000 rupees plus shipping cost. We have no financial interest. 
wishing you all zero infection surgeries throughout the career of your life. We remain yours sincerely. Please like this video and share it to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.